We're really appreciative of the opportunity to come here and play against such a story program. Um, Coach Anderson's a class act. Um, I've admired him from afar for my entire coaching career. And we saw firsthand what um, he's done with this program. It was very impressive. Uh, I expect um, and hope that they continue to have a, a great season. So, um, you know, we knew coming in that we were going to play fast and press and that they were too, for better or for worse. Um, for us tonight, it was for worse. Um, we missed a lot of open looks. Um, they took away a lot of open looks because they're good defensively, but, um, you know, I, I'm disappointed because we didn't play anywhere near our best tonight. Um, but certainly Arkansas had a lot to do with that. Questions for Coach Bell? Yeah, Isaiah Joe, um, you know, I think he's averaging 12 a He had 17 against Texas, 34 tonight. What, what was your scouting report on him, and what did you think of his game? Um, our scouting report was what he did tonight. Uh, we, we were very impressed with his game coming in, and uh, we knew he was electric shooting the ball. Um, he, he's got a credible shot fake, step to the side, make threes. Um, and, and we knew there's a chance he could get threes um, the way that we play. But, uh, you know, there were a lot of broken assignments where we gave, we gave him too many open looks. And you give that kind of caliber player open looks and he sees that ball go in, um, you can be in for a long night. And uh, we were certainly in for a long night. And I don't know if that's a record here at Arkansas. I don't know if Alex Diller maybe has the record. Um, but, um, you know, that, that, that was impressive. What did you think of Gafford? Uh, I mean, he, he's a pro. He, he's a lottery pick. And, um, you know, he's he's a uh, perfect fit for, for coach's system. And uh, you can't have a, a better uh, big guy for the fastest 40 minutes of basketball. Um, I think the staff's done a great job of developing him. I think his improvement from last year to this year is a testament to the young man, but also a testament to their staff and what they've done to get him to this point. Um, he's an impressive player on both ends. Arkansas, right, so they have nine newcomers coming in and a lot of question marks. I think they got picked 10th in the SEC. Just based on the film study and then seeing them in person, what, what, what do you think of them as a team overall? Yeah, it, it's impressive what they've done so far with ha having this many newcomers. And, you know, Coach has a system that's um, proven. And, you know, th these guys are hungry. I think they're young. They're hungry. They're, they're out to prove the naysayers wrong, the people that picked them 10th in their conference. And, and I think they're well on their way to doing that. Just the, uh, when Gafford went out, you, get, you all made a big run, got it down to 24-20. Was Joe's three-pointer kind of the nail in the coffin on that run? Yeah, I mean, I think throughout the game, when, when, whenever we'd make a, a, a mini run and a mini response to what they were doing, I, I think you saw Joe um, answer with a three or, or, or two threes. And um, he, he hit a lot of daggers tonight. Um, you know, I, I, obviously, I think any team is going to try to take advantage of when Gafford's out. But when, when Joe is stepping up and playing on, at that level, there's really going to be not much of a drop off. Coach, now going into a 12 day break, uh, just talk about what you take from this and how you move forward going into three straight up. We've got to get better. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're a team. This is a, a brand new system for them. Uh, we've got a lot of new guys. Uh, we've got two very key guys that were injured that we missed tonight. Um, that we need to get those guys back healthy. Um, but we, 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 we've got to improve. Uh, we've got to shoot the ball much better. We've got to execute our offensive game plan much better. Um, we're not going to play against a team that plays this fast again, but um, you know, we've we got to learn to get into our press quicker, get back and transition defense faster. So um, there's a lot of things we we're going to take from that, but there's a lot of things we were going to have to get better at uh, win or lose tonight. Coach, Jalen Harris, number five for Arkansas, 10 assists, one turnover. I know you guys have been forced in a lot of turnovers. What do you think of his floor game? And now he's on the season, he's got 39 assists and only seven turnovers. Yeah, it's unbelievable. And uh, when you have a, a, a guard um, who's got the ball in his hands that much and, and this type of up-tempo system that Coach Anderson employs and he takes care of the ball at such a high level, then, then it really gives them a chance to have these kind of nights where, where they put these kind of points on the board. So um, he's a very tough player. Um, he, he's very heady, um, and, and he really keeps things going. Pro probably pretty unsung a, a, as a player because you know you've got a, an electric shooter such as Isaiah Joe, and obviously the the uh, spectacular talent that Daniel Gafford is. But um, the things that Jalen Harris does, taking care of the ball, uh, that's invaluable. Coach Bryan had better than twenty points again. Uh, you knew coming in he was going to be a marked a marked man. Uh, just talk about what he what what you saw. Arkansas doing to him to really create challenges even though he had 20 points. 
I, I think coming in, I, you know, I think uh, Arkansas had a healthy respect for Brian Beard as a player, and uh, so they, 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 were, they were ready to prove that, that they could slow him down and, and take him out of what he did. And, and Brian, you know, coming into the game was shooting 50% from the field, and um, he was 5 for 15 tonight. They, they did an excellent job on him. Um, I, I didn't think we did a great job of helping him out, and, and Brian certainly wasn't at his best. I think he'd be the first to admit that. But um, again, this is this is a growth opportunity for us. We're gonna we're gonna go back, really study this tape, and and uh, and, and move forward from this experience. Is that it, Jim? Good. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you, Coach.